spiritual practices, whether you are in a traditional religion or whether, whether you are simply following your own seeking, spiritual seeking, many spiritual pack practices turn out to be ones that create an altered, a shifted state of consciousness. Prayer, for example, and there are prayers in Christianity, in Judaism, in Islam, many other traditions. They may be prayers to, to God. They may be simply prayers to the sacred or to the divine. So think of these prayers. How do you do them? Some people put their hands together so there's a physical element to it. Some people may kneel or bow. Uh, their eyes may be closed. And they may put themselves in a what would you say? Maybe a spiritual state of mind. And the prayers may be gratitude, for example. There's a very powerful practice in several traditions where you just say, what am I grateful for? What, have, what has made me happy today? What do I appreciate? And, and you list all of the things. You, you get into a state of mind in which that happiness or that feeling of gratitude gradually pervades your body. Meditation. Now, in the Christian tradition, it would be called contemplation. Um, and you would be looking at a, a scriptural text, like um, God is love, something simple like that. Or knock and it shall be opened unto you. And you just think about it. What does that mean to me? And again, you put aside any of your other thoughts, any of your other feelings, and you just turn that thought idea over and over in your mind and say, well, how does it apply to me? What would I like? What door do I want to knock on? What, what do I want to open up in my life? So, and I'm not saying you have to be religious to do this. And as a, as a person who teaches psychology, I can say these are good psychologically, whether they have a spiritual component or not. <laughs>